Cheers again, legends. Sammy from Short and Stout Beer Reviews. Doing a uh, little little three-peat series here. So Fox Friday, they're out of Hobart in Tasmania. They also have locations in Melbourne and Perth now. They're killing it at the moment. They've just released, I think it's five new beers, and three of them were IPAs, all different style of IPA. Um, yeah, with inspiration from Police Academy with the names. And I don't know if many of you remember Police Academy or were fans. Like I absolutely loved it as a kid. It's one of my favourite series of movies. So, uh, yeah, here we've got a red IPA, which is called Lassard. He was the captain. And that's at 6.2%. And we've got High Tower, which is, I think it's a West Coast IPA. And that's at 7%. And High Tower was the ex footballer and like <laughs> real big giant fella. Like you didn't want to mess with him. And Tackleberry is the hazy IPA at 7.1%. And Tack was, uh, he was the gun man. He was absolutely obsessed with guns and ammo and any sort of weaponry. Just, he got so excited about it. <laughs> so, yeah, I thought I'll do, I'll do like a little bit of all three, all in the one review. I thought that'd be pretty cool. Three different styles of IPA. And, yeah, these guys are killing it with their beers lately, so... And one thing that's also cool is I just bought a brand new glass from him and I love it. Like, it's such cool artwork on it. So it's a little dude that's got his Fox Friday beer and you turn it around and it's like the back of him and he's got like an official glass and T-shirt and stuff. It's just cool. There was a female one as well. I thought it'd be awesome to have both of them. So, yeah, hashtag proper glassware. So I didn't know sort of how to start off. I thought with the red being quite malty, I thought that would probably be the beer to finish off with. So what I'm thinking is I might go the hazy first, then the westy, then the red, because the the westy is obviously going to have some bitterness and lean into that red with that's probably going to be malty and bitter. So we'll start off with the hazy. And, yeah, like, I hope they do some more, like, whether it be IPAs or, like, other styles and have some other characters, that'd be cool. Because, yeah, I was always a massive Mahoney fan. So, yeah, I'm going to go Tackleberry the Hazy first. How you going, Trilby? Good to see you, brother. So, yeah, the old hazy IPA, probably the one I'm least excited about just because I'm a massive Westie fan and I also love a red IPA. So don't get me wrong, I don't mind hazies occasionally, but you just get a bit sick of them. So, yeah, I'm probably going to go, yeah, about sort of a half pour for each one. Don't want to go too mental on the stream. So, yeah, colour-wise for this one, it's sort of like a faint orange. On the camera, it looks a lot lighter. It's more of like a vibrant, like a light orange. It's um, definitely cloudy, like a one-finger head. It looks very soft and pillowy. Um, I'd say probably a medium body. So, yeah, we'll go with smell. And I'll let you know what the hops are on each one as well. Oh, man, that smells amazing. I haven't actually checked what hops are in each one, but I'm going to guess this one's got Nelson in it. 
it's got that like i'm getting that sort of white grape berry sort of dank grassy thing going on there's also like some peach some citrus as well there's definitely plenty going on in it even some tropical fruit probably yeah maybe a bit of melon If I dive right in, it's yeah, it's almost like a passion fruit sort of vibe. Yeah, as far as citrus goes, I'm feeling sort of lemon and lime. Mmm. Smells unreal. Cheers again, Dan. I'm back straight away, brother. But, yeah, these guys, they've just been killing it lately. And, like, yeah, I love the fact that they – I mean, IPAs, they're huge, but most breweries just pump out too many hazies, whereas Fox Friday brew as many Westies as they do hazies, and I love that. You go to their new tap room in Melbourne, and, yeah, it's like a mixture of different styles. Yeah, I'm definitely getting a stone fruit vibe, like peach. It smells quite juicy, a little bit dank. Doesn't really smell sweet. It's like, yeah, like that floral sort of touch. Mmm. Cheers, Angie. Did you just chime in because I said peach? <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going in. Cheers, boys and girls. God, that glass is unreal. <laughs> now that it's got liquid in it, it just looks so rad. Bye. <laughs> anyway, I'm going in. Ooh, that is quite dank. You're definitely getting like a berry touch. Like it's even like mixed berries. Yeah, lemon and lime. It's definitely grassy. There might even be a touch of pine there as well. It's quite complex on the palate. Yeah, it's got a huge peach vibe. It's like very like smooth and creamy. And it probably, I would say medium to full body on the palate. Oh, it's delightful. See, if I get a hazy like this, it's something to get excited about. I just think there's too many too many average ones out there in like a saturated market. I've got to check what hops are in it. But, yeah, as I said, I haven't checked, but I reckon there's definitely Nelson. It's just what the other hop is. There's probably like three or four in there, to be honest. I wouldn't be surprised if there's like maybe Citra and even maybe even like Motueka or one of those other New Zealand hops. But, yeah, we'll have a look at the can right now. And it's cool with Fox Friday because they put all the ingredients, like even the malts and the yeast and that on the can. Yeah, so there you go. Citra, Nelson, and Cryo Citra. So pretty much nailed it. It's the uh, beauty of <laughs> being right into your beers. You can pretty much, when they're a popular hop and you know your shit, you can pick them out. 
So, yeah, it's pretty cool. So, yeah, it's got Pilsner malt, Golden Promise, Rolled Oats, and Chit malt. Oh, yeah, the old Chit. You don't see that too often. So, that's pretty cool. But, yeah, big, big fan of this one. <laughs> Hooray. <laughs> mm. Sometimes I'll like get carried away and I'll like pour the rest in and then I'm like, shit, I've got to take photos of these beers. But, yeah, when you're drinking three big IPAs on, the, like, one review, you sort of need to take it easy as well. And you don't want, like, you'll drink one, like, obviously, I'm, um, like, fresh palate, sober, just finished work. You don't want the judgment to change because you've had, like, two big beers all of a sudden. But, yeah, I reckon, actually, I'll go scores of each at the end. But, yeah, very impressed with that one. So next up, cheers, Tater. Good to see you again. Next up, we will go, sorry, the Westie, which is Big Hightower, Big Moses. So, yeah, he, <laughs> he was, like, always playing, like, sport with the kids and, like, yeah, just... <laughs> <laughs> elite level with his basketball and his football and that and he was such a big giant like a gentle giant good character very funny so uh yeah let's go go for this bad boy westy let's hope it's piney and citrusy and dank and bitter Ooh, it looks the part, I tell you. So when I went to the tap room for Fox Friday, it was probably like a month or two ago, not long after they first opened. I was very, very impressed with their West Coast. Being the Westie boy I am, I've, I mean, I have had some in the past, but just being able to have four or five fresh ones on tap, it was unreal. So, yeah, look at that in the glass. Sensational. It's like probably a three to four finger head. Very, yeah, tightly packed. It's It's got that look like an old school Westie. It's got that caramel toffee sort of malt look. A bit darker in colour, which is good. Um, fairly clean, maybe a bit of chill haze, as they say. Uh, carbonation's fairly lively. I'd say it looks like about a medium body. So, yeah, let's go for it. Whiff time. And there's my dog going off. He's getting a little bit angry. <laughs> well, with this one, I'm getting citrus, but it's not really strong. I'd say some orange and grapefruit. There's a touch of like apricot there. And yeah, you're getting that sort of piney resinous feel, but it doesn't, it's not really, really strong on the nose. The nose is actually quite, I'd say subdued compared to some of the other Westies I've had from them. But in saying that, sometimes you it'll blow you away on the palate. Cheers, Luke, brother. Hope all's well on the island. And shame about the uh, live last night. I was looking forward to it. But yeah, no doubt we'll see us at some stage. Yeah, it's mainly like grapefruit, apricot, 
it's got that dank sort of feel to it. Like piney, grassy. I hope it's sort of oily on the palate. But yeah, let's go in. Cheers, peeps. And there's little little mate again. We need a name for him. Little foxy boy. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> on the palate so much better than the aroma oh that is the westy i know and love it's got that caramel toffee backbone also like i nearly say like brown bread It's definitely piney. It's resinous. It's oily. I've got a fly annoying the shit out of me. <laughs> yeah, you, you're getting grapefruit. You're getting that pith. There's a touch of sweetness, but it's more sort of pithy from the citrus. It's got that marmalady, jammy sort of thing going on. I always get that sort of like orange, apricot, jammy sort of thing with good West Coast. Yeah, it's fairly good balance of like sweet and dry. And yeah, the bitterness like definitely lingers. It creeps up on you and then oof, just keeps going. The ABV on this one, I think it was seven. Yeah, 7%. With the hops on this one, I haven't looked at the can on that side that the hops are on, but, yeah, I I feel like the hops would be quite complex in this. I reckon there'd be at least three or four different ones. It's hard to hazard a guess with that. I'm thinking there might be maybe Simcoe in there. Yeah, it's tough with a, with a good Westie, especially if they've got a heap of hops in them. It's hard to... Maybe even like Centennial or something like that. I don't reckon it's got Columbus in it, which is one of my favourites. I can sort of pick that out normally. But, yeah, for a Westie also, it's got quite a, quite a smooth, like, oh, yeah, like a smooth mouthfeel. And, like, it's not creamy, but it's, like, smooth and go like slides down which is pretty cool for a westie but yeah um i'll check the hot bill on this one yeah it's got quite a few mosaic citra simcoe chinook and cascade so yeah they're quite like the chinook and cascade is pretty cool Hasn't actually given me as much pine as I thought it would, especially now that I look at the hops, but it's definitely a winner. Now it's time for the big red boy. Sweet as. How, like in hours from now, dude, what time would that be? Hopefully it's when I'm not at work. It's really sucked. Like the last two weeks I've been on work and like I've missed everyone's streams and haven't been able to join panels and that. And yeah, I felt like really left out. I think the time difference at the moment too sucks because like you guys have gone forward with your clocks and we've gone back and yeah, I don't know, there's just 
it just seems different the last few weeks. There's been a bit of a change in times and stuff. Ooh. <laughs> Thirteen hours from now. Yeah, I'll be just going to work. Damn it. Oh well. So yeah, next up, one I'm quite excited for. When a West I mean, sorry, when a red IPA has like the West Coast sort of characteristics, I'm a huge fan. And same with a black IPA. When you get that, with the red IPA, when you get that huge caramel toffee backbone, even has that, like, nuttiness, and then you get, like, yeah, like the pine and the earth and the resin and dankness and that, it's so fucking good. So let's see how we go. Looks pretty good. So yeah, I'd say probably like a dark amber in colour. It's got a similar head to yeah the last one. It's yeah, it looks a bit more cleaner. Um, carbonation's probably medium. I'd say body's medium as well. Looks pretty good. Old mate's happy. Let's go a whiff. Oh, <laughs> toffee. <laughs> soon, as soon as my nose got close to the glass, I'm like, toffee, hello. Yeah, it's this huge toffee and citrus. I'm actually getting like a blood orange vibe from this. It's like that sort of sweet toffee, blood orange. It, see, it sounds funny saying blood orange because I think of Simon saying fleshy blood orange, but that's honestly what it smells like. You're getting like a touch of sort of pine and earth. I wouldn't be surprised if it's like, yeah, pink grapefruit as well. I mean, that sounds very, very out there, but. Mmm. Like you're getting one of those fruits that's like got that sweetness and bitterness. Oh, it smells so good. I'm going in. Cheers, peeps. Love yous. Mm. I'm not going to lie, just on one sip. I'm nearly going to have to say that's my favourite out of the three. I know I love red IPAs, like, shit, that's a good one. It's like sweet toffee. It's like resinous and oily. It's piney. It's almost got that spruce tip thing going on. And then, yeah, as I said, it's like you're getting that sort of like a pink grapefruit or a, a blood orange or a mixture of both. It's just got that pithy, pithy, sweet citrus fruit.
the bitterness is there, but it's not like probably not as intense as the last beer. It's got a really good mouth feel as well. And it's like quite clean and clear. Yeah, you definitely say like dark amber in colour. Yeah, this is unreal. And the percentage on this one was a bit lower, I think. I think it was like six. Oh no, no, that's not the right can. <laughs> Yeah, 6.2 and the other two were sevens. Yeah, it drinks really good. I'm impressed with this one. The more I drink it, unreal, but I'm probably... I'm probably going to say the Westies is just as good, so... We'll see how we go with the scores. <laughs> Is KFC open? <laughs> We're going speaking. Cheers, Bill. Good to see you, brother. Haven't seen you for a while. Haven't hung out with many of my uh, YouTube buddies for a while. It's been pretty shit. Damn work, damn time difference. Yeah, you're getting, um, the more I drink this, it's quite earthy. I wouldn't be surprised if there's some mosaic in this. Just lately when I've had mosaic, I get a lot of earthiness. Pardon me. I just belched. <sighs> yeah, boy. Cheers, brother. Thanks for chiming in. No doubt we'll see you soon. We uh, have to share a beer or a whiskey or both at some stage. So, cheers and yeah, enjoy the rest of your trip, dude. It'd be good to good to hear about all the different PD boys. I love a good peated whiskey. And it's good to see he's like having beers and stuff as well. What well, you got to break it up. So, yeah, that one is down the hatch like the other two. So, yeah, I pretty much had like half a can of each. I feel like I've got a good grasp on each one and what I think. Actually, I was going to check the hops on the red IPA, but I felt like it had some mosaic. And if I was to guess another hop in it, Hmm. Oh, shit. That is a tough one. I got that like grapefruity, what like, pink grapefruit blood orangey thing. So yeah, that's nah, I don't reckon it's galaxy, Bill. You are uh, you you make a good case, especially because I'm Australian. <laughs> it could be Galaxy. Who knows? There's probably like shitload of hops in there, but I got like a like I got I, I get mosaic from it, but I get like a an old school sort of hop as well. I wouldn't be surprised if it's got like Cascade or one of those in it. We'll have a look anyway. Raquel, 
Simcoe, Idaho 7 and Cascade. So, yeah, I said Cascade, but I thought it had Mosaic in it. So there you go. It's interesting. That's a very interesting hop combo. It'd be just cool to, yeah, it'd be cool to read about the beer and what what the brewers suggest the flavour notes are and stuff because, yeah, as I said, I just got this, like, tart, like a, I mean, sorry, like a sweet, pithy citrus thing. I'm pretty sure Raquel normally is stone fruit heavy. Simcoe is quite complex. You can get different, like you can get, you can get sort of citrus, stone fruit, you can get like pine, earthiness. You can even like a lot of dankness with Simcoe as well. Idaho 7, that's quite complex too. You can get tropical notes from that. Um, also, yeah, stone fruit. Like, I even with Idaho 7, I get a lot of earth. A lot of, actually, now that I think of it, that's where the earth would be coming from. I reckon Idaho 7. I also get like a black tea, like a tea vibe from Idaho. And then, yeah, Cascade. Cascade's always pretty solid. And I'm pretty glad that I said Cascade in the end. Like, so, yeah, at least I got one of the hops right. I knew it was going to be a heap of hops, but I thought at least I'll have a stab guessing one or two. So, hmm, an interesting little experiment. Yeah, dude, Strata's unreal because one thing, I mean, yes, it's got all the berry and it's a little bit different, but... One thing people don't realise is it's really dank. And if you're after a, a hop that's got those weedy vibes, I reckon Strata's like right up there. If you brewed a beer that had like, say, Columbus, Strata, Simcoe, like that sort of thing, <laughs> it'd be like weed in beer form. <laughs> So, yeah, scores for these bad boys. I'm going to be honest, I think all three are quite sim like very similar in score. Because now that I think about it with the hazy, that was quite impressive as well. Yeah, Centennial is another one that's similar vibe. So, yeah, with the hazy tackleberry, I'm going to give that. Damn, that was good too. I'm going to go 4.4 out of 5 for tackleberry. High tower. Four point four. <laughs> you can see it coming. <laughs> Lassard four point four. They're all banging and they're all on that same level. I honestly can't like the more I had of I thought the red was unreal on the first sip. Then the more I had it, I'm like, nah, I think the Westie's just as good. They're on a par. And then the more I thought about it with the hazy, it's like the Nelson and the Citra together, like it was unreal. And it's like they're all on that same, like, yeah, I can't really separate them. So uh, sorry to be neutral like Switzerland, but <laughs> I'm not normally like that. So, yeah, 4.4 for all three. Let's see how that stacks up against what other people think. But, yeah, if you're ever in Australia or if you ever see these in, like, Southeast Asia or a mate just happens to have them in another country, get around them. Fox Friday. They're definitely one of our best breweries at the moment. They're unreal. 
And, yeah, all their cans are, like, different colours like this, just with the Fox Friday written down the bottom. And, yeah, they've all got just sort of a generic, low, like, the name with the logo there and then all the ingredients on the back. But, yeah, they're originally out of Hobart in Tasmania. And now they're doing so well, they've got, like, bars in other states. So, yeah, I don't know if I could sort of compare them to a brewery worldwide, but too hard to say at the moment. But, yeah, I love little experiments like this. It's cool. Just got to be careful you don't get too drunk. <laughs> Yeah, dude. I love it. Yeah, red IPAs are unreal. Like, if you like, I don't know, like old school sort of Irish reds and then you sort of like mix that with like a West Coast IPA, sort of like a hybrid. Really good. Yeah, for sure, dude. Always welcome if you're ever here. I'll uh, take you around Melbourne town. I feel like there's a heap of uh, beer tubers that want to want to catch up with Sammy in Melbourne. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to end it there. I've been going for a fair while, and I want to finish the rest of these beers off air. So thanks for chiming in, peeps. Appreciate you all. And, uh people that watch it afterwards let us know let us know out of the three styles what you prefer and it'd be good to hear like i want to know if people love westies or they love hazies or they like something a little different like a red so cheers peeps on to the next one <laughs>